This poem is for my Pakistani sisters, sisters that dance with me in blood and sisters far across the seas, the waves calling to us, bringing us closer. They are faces I struggle to find in the neighborhoods of San Francisco. I call for them, hoping for a response, but all I am answered with is the echo of a heartbeat. I want to travel to the country my father was born, where I can see a culture like my own, to see the same thick, blessed hair cascading down my sister's shoulders. I yearn to have my head sued with coconut oil and saffron garlands laced by sun-kissed bombs, to be dressed in gold-trimmed saris and a bindi pressed into my forehead, like the mark of my father's thumb, a symbol that he is a part of me even though I no longer remember his face. My sisters and I will dance under raindrops, sticking out our tongues to catch the gift God sent us today. We will sit under the acacia tree and eat the mangoes we stole from Daddy's garden until our tongues are ta tainted by the sticky sweet syrup and our lips can no longer taste. My sisters and I will play tag in the sugarcane fields, returning home with raw, scratched legs. We will bargain with the shopkeeper until he is fed up with our nerve and sells us bangles and henna for only 1,000 rupees. I would like to believe my sisters and I have a stronger bond than any blood ties or super glue, but I will never know. I am stuck in America, unaware of the lives my sisters lead far across the seas, because I can't travel 7,666 miles away to a country that is more dangerous than I know. So I stare outside my window and watch the San Francisco fog grow in, wondering what it feels like to oil my hair with coconut or lace a saffron garland, to have a bindi pressed into my forehead and dance in the rain, to sink my teeth into the flesh of stolen fruit and come home with legs gnawed by sugar cane. My sisters know what it's like. I wish I did too. Yeah!